Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone. As the regular season is officially complete, and now we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next after this. Hey guys, we are back here for the NBA playoffs. If you're tuning in with us, we like to uh, bring out with the best game here after the first game was a huge hit for Stephen Curry and the other teams. They've got a great average here of 3-0 series lead for the Golden State Warriors. If they win the next one, they're going to win and head on to the second round. Of course they do. Those players can definitely be a higher ranking without anyone making a great baskets out there with the best run of the night. And I agree to it too, because uh, the best player out there was Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, and the other teams there too. As you may have all known, this is the next game that we're heading to Eastern Conference. That's right, it's the Boston Celtics facing against the Toronto Raptors playing at the Scotia Bank Arena. So it's time to step things in on the board as we have a total average of the players being commenced. But the question is, will the Toronto Raptors sneak their win here and take a 2-1 series? Or will the Boston Celtics have the ranking average of 3-0 lead in a series. We'll find out after the fourth quarter is over, but it's time to bring things in to start the series for the third game of the Eastern Conference matchup. Let's take you down here in Toronto, Canada to start the presentation of the NBA Playoff Edition. 2K Sports welcomes to the presentation of the NBA Playoffs. Here were the Boston Celtics arriving earlier. The players with a look of intensity as they try to pick up a win on the road. Right now they have two in a series here at home, but let's see what happens if they can play here to win it all again. The city lights shine on Lake Ontario. We're coming to you live from the place known as Hollywood North. Also noting as the Weed in the North. And there might be some great opportunities out there if the Raptors can make another huge win at this game. This is going to be another great matchup here between Canada and USA in, in the Scotty Bank Arena. And on the sideline report is Ali. BA, we've seen smaller market teams unhappy with how the buyout system has played out as of late. Agents using their leverage to get their clients to a more glamorous situation. Is it truly shifting the balance of power? That's subject to debate, guys, but these concerns aren't going away anytime soon. Well, we'll see, well, we'll see how well they do here. Thank you, Allie. And for course of bed, Fred Van Vliet, his ultimate average has put up 20 in his season for the game. And last time it was 10. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it looks like Fred Van Vliet might be going for another one to take the attack. If they could try to keep an eye on the player, then we may have another average here to take him out of line. As you see here, Emmy Uduku is the is the head coach for the Boston Celtics, replacing a Brad Stevens, and Nick Nurse is still current coach for the Toronto Raptors. Right now, we start games off as Raptors wins the tip off. All fueled up and ready to go. Raptors haven't scored yet the last season here from his average of the point off, as they already beaten up against here against the Atlanta Hawks. This play is going to be a very tough drive at that point. All because of what they have done so far, they've already have gotten numbers up the line here to pick up their lane. Gary Trent Jr. will head to the free throw line to shoot two after the foul was called on Robert Williams. This time it will be the first free throw to give it off for Toronto for the start of the first quarter. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And a first free throw falls. They now have an average up here to take a 1-0 in the game. And if he gets a second, it will be two for the start of the first quarter. This can be a definitely and dangerous situation here for the players. Most of all for Gary Trent Jr., he may have a lot of patience here. 
And a second free throw falls in for Trent Jr. Here's Smart, only scored his last couple of timing on an average here against, uh, against the last, last game of game number two. Tatum with the two, he goes in. Jason Tatum has gotten some uh, got good bleak green in between the in between the teams. It can be a great Christmas color, but it looks like it's red and green. Yeah, in between our red light and green light. Junior pass back to Van Vliet. Van Vliet bounce pass to Siakam. Try to attack it. The rim can't hit the two pointer for Siakam. And Siakam's got the uh, got, uh, hard movement on the shoulder. It can be very hard to win, to try to train hard. Brown outside, screened by Horford. And Horford slams the dunk down as Tatum with the assist. Jason Tatum's got his first releasement of the assist here in this game. And the only first bucket scoring was Al Horford. Here's Van Vliet, back to Anobi. In between the zones, Raptors are gaining more momentum. And a drive by Barnes is good. That will be Fred Van Leet's first assist for Toronto. And it's now 4-4. It's quite tough. In between USA and Canada, I'm pretty sure that they have done good so far, like the, US, like the Olympics here too. They've done it so far that they played in hockey. The last time in 2010 in Vancouver. Rebound is off by Siakam. Barnes out and again. Horford trying to head, uh, take the man on him. Back to Trent Jr. Back to Ananobi. Back to Barnes. Back to Van Vliet. In the range attack. Scooping drive, no good. Tatum right to Smart. Now he just off to Brown. In the paint, he got bumped up. And he just went down as there's no foul call release mid-gear. That was a strange move. I don't understand what happened here. It looks like he was trying to bump him out. It looks like there was no foul call. Well, that was a strange play here, but there is no option here to take it from our end. Tatum on an Anubi. Try to break him up. Williams on Siakam. Back to Brown. Six to shoot for Boston. With a two, in and out, rebound, and it's jump ball in between Orford and Siakam. Wow, that was a close one. It looks like they're trying to argue here. They better be careful here. The ball is tipped up, and the Celtics wins the jump ball. And the ball got stuck, and it went off. The foul is picked up on Barnes as Jalen Brown will head to the free throw line to shoot two. This is an average tough making. Jalen Brown has already gotten the ball, and he's got it right away. That's a great help here on offense. But what happened is that Vaughn was putting up an arm trying to hit him. He can't be getting it, it close, and he doesn't want to make a mistake. Now that is a bad uh, receiving here for the defensive foul. First free throw falls in for Brown. Jalen Brown, of course, he's the ultimate uh, player, but he has been out here for many, many years. Now for his season, can be more changeable. They are making some new changes as Boston and Toronto are making new changes. All five players checked out as Brown will be will be checking will be staying on the court for one more. The second free throw is good for Brown. Toronto trailing by four. Back to Achua. Achua back to Flynn. Flynn hasn't received his two-pointer in the making gear, but sometimes he has a better average if they wanted to pick it up. Now back to Van Vliet. Two up again. Good. That's another two-pointer for Toronto. Fred Van Vliet receiving his first bucket here in this game. All he knows was his player average here that turned out to be just like him. The two-pointer for Pritchard is up and short. We're under a minute and a half to play in the first period. Achua back to Rufflin. Three for Mahayuk. Rebounded by Feist. 
Their first three-pointer missed here for Toronto as they couldn't find a man opener. The fighting man can be tricky. Not everyone, but only him have made and made the best point out of the three-pointers. Somebody's gonna get cold and they're gonna try to uh, wake him up. Van Bleek overscoring his first bucket. He hasn't received another one yet. Flynn back to Van Bleek. Mahayu, again, Van Bleek over over again, and that's another two-point for Van Bleek. Van Bleek has four, and the Raptors are trailing by two. Pritchard on Flynn, back to Brown. Brown and he goes. Two-pointer, Feist. Try to attack him, and that's another miss by Boston. And has got his first rebound here for Toronto. And now the bounce pass, it goes with out of bounds and turned over. This will be now Celtic ball as two players are checked back in. Right now, that Birch is checked out and Thaddeus Young is checked back in. So he's gonna start things off to pick him in. Brown, oh boy, here we go. There he is, the two-pointer has picked up his pace. Brett Brown, uh, Jalen Brown, all, all of a sudden without, without any release been here, it got a much, 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 much better at that point. But maybe the play is not going to be helping us much. Mahalia with a three, got it, and that counts it up by one. That's the end of the first quarter as it releases out 12-11. What a big stop to you for Boston Celtics. But we have to see what they can do here for the next one. We'll be right back after this one. After this. Off to a second quarter as we are about to start here in the in for the north of Canada. Here at the Scotia Bank Arena. All scores puts up a drowning point here on Jalen Brown. Of course, Jalen Brown is perceiving as uh, officially uh, on his way. But when he asks his head coach for his time, he can... He can definitely try to work things on his own, practice a little more, and also get right into the team to help them out even increase more average. Wow, Jalen Brown, a smooth run here in the second quarter. Now he has 10. Raptors are only scoring 11 points here on the board, looking for man opener. Flynn, short on a three. Achua will try to reset it off. But how are you? Back to Young. Back to Flynn, takes the shoot for Toronto. Young, with the pass, Flynn, in and out, no good. White, for three, nobody, and he had it all through. Boston extending up by six. It's now, it's now 17-11 for lead. Looking as plays, it's definitely that hard, but when they have it all average here, yeah, they might need to stop their pressure. Flynn back to Van Bleek. Mahayu, Echua over Feist. Nice D by in between of White and Feist as a rebound is picked up by Feist. Tough rebound. Back again, another drive is picked up score for Derek White. The first timeout is released on Toronto Raptors. Yeah, of course they're going to need to talk things over a bit. They are not picking up a good defensive uh, work here on the after field, so they're going to need to try to like help them out here on offense to try to pick up the shifts a little bit even more. It might be very tough for them. Well, of course, there might be somebody else that can definitely work their way around a bit. are being released here for Toronto as Siakam is checked back in for, for the other player. Four players are checked out. Tatum, Smart, Horford checked in with Williams. And Achua is checked out. Trent Jr. back to Barnes. Even an attacker trying to pick up a loose ball. Barnes in the attack. Rebounded by Robert Williams. Robert Williams redeeming himself for the second rebound. 
Here he goes, in with a defensive breakdown. No foul is given up on Toronto. Wow, that drive was like a huge impact. That's why, because of Derek White, he's like hustling on the move. He goes right in there, he knows his way, he backs him up just in time. Flynn, back pass, and it's tipped away as Tatum has the ball bound. Smart on Flynn. Backing over is Robert Williams. Goes up, and he goes with another drive. Timeout again by the Raptors. 2.36 to remain in the first half of the game, and the Raptors are having a hard time. And of course they are, because what happened is they are losing the pressure here this one. It's not going to be great enough to try to work their way on the offense, but it may not be enough for them to try to attack the muscle. And no uh, changes yet, as uh, so right now that uh, Barnes is already have it all covered up. We take a look at the uh, leading stats for Gary Trent Jr. He's currently in first place for the steal and game of this season. It's all on him. Just gotten great efforts here for this scoring run. Right? With all the steals instead of the other players, he knows that Gary Trent Jr. has a little bit of cover down on the board. He finds Siakam, look out in between, and that's a great pass here. Siakam gets his first bucket. And an assist is picking up here for the number play, by Flynn. Ananobi against Tatum. Rejecting, three, off the bound of Boston, and a rebound again by Trent Jr. Yeah, he got some good average here. They're looking for some number, offensive look. Barnes in the paint. Over again, good! That's another two-pointer release miss. The Raptors are in control, under two minutes left. Field goal's average has been updated so far. Looking for an R1. Tatum for three, and nope, this will not happen here with the offensive foul. It looks like they have counted it, but I don't know if they're gonna try to challenge it because the personal foul is being lifted up on Robert Williams. That's his second personal. But it looks like he's already uh, gotten uh, some basket here. Jason Tatum is already uh, picking up some good good moves here. No shove has been given up here, so they should not count the bucket. Junior backing over is Langley up against Siaka. Fade around him, and it's a tight D on Robert Williams fighting up on Siaka. Here's White. White, in transition, finds a pass, Lord Horford for three, three battle by White. White over Junior, they're trying to attack it, and a foul is on Siakam. That will be their first, second team foul on Toronto, as they are averaging it up with a, with a foul trouble making for Toronto. And less than a talk about, Jason Tatum, his only average has definitely picked up his momentum. It's got a tough inbound on board. They absolutely do. Because of uh, Jason Tatum, he has he has redeeming himself to try to try to get the attacker respond. And for sometimes an important thing, that he has much more average on his control after playing with the All Star game. Now Robert Williams is checked out as Daniel Feist is checked back in. White only has one more to go, and Siakam's checked out. Boucher is checked in. Also with Birch and Mahayu. The second free throw for White is good. It's 28-15. Toronto trailing by 13. Birch and the attacker. Burge comes up short, and it's Feist with the rebound and great effort on defense. Rebounds are putting average up here on the board because of what they have done here. They really have nothing left to claim the momentum out there. They have some number out rangers, but they have nothing left to get the drive in there to get it done. Smart, out and mount about, not able to make a three-pointer. Mahayu, right back to Van Vliet. 
Now Van Vliet and helping the team is Young. Birch gets it back, but can't get the rebound as Ananobi makes them up a miss. Boucher, great D. What a tight defensive break. Boucher lost the ball and it's smart with the steal. And the average must be there. It's good for Tate for White. And they have it up by 30 to 15. That will do for the first half. Boston just got a great start here for the first half, but Toronto needs to find an average here for the second half. And let's catch you down by Allie LaForce. Allie, take it away. Thanks so much, Al, as you anchor that front court. What were you guys looking to accomplish in the first half? I mean, we're, you know, we're just trying to play with pace, you know, trying to dominate on the defensive end, get rebounds, uh, make it tough. Pace is key. Back to you. Thank you, Ali. Be back in the Scotty at Bank Arena after this. What's a lot of hustle this rebound? Also, we've noticed before that a lot of players from the Celtics are regaining momentum. Let's have a one quick look here for the daily of this recap, first half of Game 3. Here's how he did in the first half. All done for now. Let's head you back to Toronto for the second half to start the third quarter. And we welcome you back here at the north of Scotty Bank Arena as the third quarter is about to start in, in the move. This is all that turned out to be defensive breakdown on Toronto for Derek White. He's on a huge breaking point. Yeah, that's uh, that's what you called him for Derek White. 11 points, 4 rebounds, and just the assist. He's got a great average here on his control. He's looking for another one to hit the game pressure. Right now, it's Robert Williams against Siaka. And now Smart back in move as we're ready to start the third quarter of the game. Smart right to Brown. Brown in the alone. Watch out below. Brown is going two in a row with the slam dunk. Well, these players are just making discussions out there and the fans are still quiet. And now we're tipped off by Taylor. Smart on Van Vliet. Van Vliet looking for a steal. Horford against Barnes. Goes up, takes the ball bound. Oh my goodness, it's Robert Williams. Stopping the bounder and they are just attacking it. Of course they are. How well they could do. It's just hard. Great defensive take here for, for Boston as they're trying to make them a pay what they need. And for Tatum for himself, he's only had receiving two steals in this game. And now he's adding another one. Jason Tatum only seven points in this game, just like he did clear before. Now how come this is not going to help him? Robert Williams receives his third foul and a number and a number first team foul for Boston. 344 left to play in the third quarter. And Pascal Siakam will head to the head to the line to shoot two at the free throw. Raptors are adding another two here for at the free throws as they couldn't help them try to score big. That's one, and for Siakam, for himself, he might have another average to take over, but not for him. He's like already getting getting beaten up here, and I'm sitting out on a bench here like for, for no reason. The second free throw for Siakam is good. Boston leading by 12, by 13. 
Number Amatino at two again. Hawthorne oh, got it all through. And this one goes right over to Butcher. It's not Horker. I'm sorry. It looks like it's Williams. Uh, no configuration. It was, it's confusing. Barnes! Take the slam, slam, jam, jam! And they have their number two average here. Look at that drive. Well, sit for yourself there because Barnes is under attack. Jason Data hitting a number three pointer here as it's now 41 to 19. They are extending it so far and they pick up the pressure on the attacker. Backing over is Barnes. Right to see Occam. In the move, fouled, and it's on Robert Williams. That's his fourth. That was going to be a clean, clean block. But what happened out there? This whole play turned out to be just, wow, a shocking moment. I don't know what to say about that because that was supposed to be a foul in between the range of those two guys. Well, that's because of what Robert Williams has done. A huge pointing of offense to take from Freer. And now he has reached up his fourth personal second team foul on Boston as Siakam tries again at the free throw line. Hey, it's the first. And with the changeup for Toronto, they will have Achua checking in for Ananobi. Barnes will be switching in from small forward. And Siakam hits the two free throws down. Boston leading by Lean by 22, and another one average here for Robert Williams. That goes to another defensive breakdown. Yeah, it looks like nothing's going too good. It looks like they're having another nightmare. Tough rebound, and that's a great pick for Robert Williams to stop Siakam. Siakam's goal really gotten so cold because of defensive players, they have it all. Barnes, back to Siakam, inside, got it. Driving in the paint, not a problem, and they are just on their way. Here's Pritchard, only receiving his uh, number assist here this game. Knocking the pass by Van Vliet, but has the ball back. Screen on Williams. Two minutes left, and he's fouled. And Chirua picks up his first personal, and another team foul is called by Toronto. Oh boy, I don't, I don't think this is not going to happen really well because the, the players of uh, Toronto are losing control. That's because of all the players are rehydrated. They practiced a lot. They've already streaked two wins here at home against the Raptors. But it looks like the third game is going to happen again. Jalen Brown hits the first free throw. Now the new changeup will be Robert Williams checking out. And right now Feist is checked in along with White. New changeup for Boucher checking in for Siakam. And it's Achua at the center. Robert Williams hits two free throws down. It's now 45-23. Van Lee looking for another one to pick up by. Two point step back. You bet. He just got it. Not a problem at all for, for Fred Van Lee. But the bench for the Boston is outscoring the Raptors by 10. They have it all down on board. They are looking to pace it up more. Brown losing control. And another attack in the paint. And Brown is all over the place. The players are not even trying to find the man out there. They need a lot of help on defense. Very back to Achua. With a two drive, good. Another two point range. He has his first bucket. Boston leading by, leading by 20. Brown, Feist comes in for a screen. And it will be taken off again. Back to Williams. Boucher in the cover. And Achuva got a steal. What a play here. They have a finally got one. 
And nice pass here for Mahayu. It's Barnes with a number two. Oh boy, all quiet out there. But now this is the first turnover on Boston. Talking about, and it's rebounded by Fred Van Vliet. Turning down the beat, 30 seconds left to go. Van Vliet back to Achua. Over again, Barnes. Right to Boucher. And it's an offensive foul. And this calls for the Boucher with a charge. Not so good there. For Boucher, is, he has picked it up a foul. And for Vice, with a great defense. That's going to be a huge changing turnovers for them to pick it off. That's another nightmare. On number two range for Jalen Brown. As Marcus Smart picks up the assist. Mahayu going in. He's slamming a jam down. And it's now five points for Mahayu. Mahayu's got an even good ease control. It looks like that Brown is like fierce. I don't know if he against Brown. Five to shoot. He goes up to two. No good. End of the third quarter releases. It's 49-31. The Bostons are trying to pick up their third win if they could try to knock it down. Will it be a win for, for the Celtics or with the Raptors to stop and have them on the board? We'll be right back after this. And we're about to set off the fourth quarter as this all comes down to this. Going in between the range out there with all Boston with a streaking kill. They have gotten some a lot of huge numbers in the ranking. They do always better. This price is never gonna uh, team off the kill. Junior with a three. And his first rebound is picked up on Vice. And it's now smart on the angle. White for three. And no luck rear for another opposite side of the three-pointer range. Two on one. He's fouled. And it's Daniel Feist with the first personal. Number team foul is given up here on Boston with just only 4.35 to go. Now Birch will head to the free throw line to shoot two. This average is picking up a pace out there. Sometimes it gets in the way, but most of all the uh, pressure by the player had it all in the hand. Birch knocks the first free throw. Now Jalen Brown is checked out as Jason Tatum will be checking in. The players of this uh, according status here for Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, they are the dynamic duos that they have already have gotten themselves a, a lucky trick shots. Most of all, the players have it all encountered to try to take them out. The second free throw for Birch is good, and now he asks his first bucket. All quiet here for all three quarters. Boston leading by 16 and a steal by Trent Jr. And an OB. Look at that jam and we got a Pam Bam through. On an OB with the first bucket, all quiet, and now he's on the board. Wow, on an OB really got a great, great effort to start. And for the steal of Trent Jr., they know they have it all. Ananobi, back over to Burge. Fred Van Bleet, two-pointer miss, and rebounded by Tatum. Tatum is receiving another rebounding here. Boston is picking up a steam. Three for Tatum. No good. Ananobi with the rebound. That's number two in his third game. Passes off to Young. Back to Trent Jr. Young. And attacking. Now he will have to take the screen. The two for Trent Jr., no problem. And it's now cutting down by, by 12. This all really turns out. Their, their offensive breakdown cannot handle the pressure. They can't stop here. Or for a right to Tatum. The spin inside. Tatum fadeaway shot. And it's now 51 37. Tatum is on the street. And they have it all down on board. Timeout called by Toronto with only 3.11 to go. 
Now we will have the next game coming in, coming in your way in game four, as we will have the next rematch here, as this will be the Pelicans and the Suns to try to redeem, regain momentum out there. And then the Raptors and Boston Celtics to try to answer back free. Yeah, of course, it looks like it can be the only guys that can try to take them down like a, like a own stone man. They might be a, they might be on reading average here to try to knock them down. New changes coming in for Boston and Toronto as the Yakums check back in. Van Vliet on the ball. Passes off to Siakam. Brad Van Vliet back to Barnes. Van Vliet still working her way with the ball pass. Ananobi for three. Once again, they can't make the number three pointer and it's missed again on Toronto. Those players are, are showing up. That's because of the three pointers, it's not going good. Rebound by Siakam. Off to Fear and Van Van Vliet. Finding Barnes. Junior for three. Still no. It's White with the rebound. Van Vliet on White. Close is off to Robert Williams. He going in, the attack. No good, Siakam does it again. Siakam's got a great pressure out here. He's doing it a lot better. Wow, you can mess up on Barnes as he slammed. Jam! Remember, sisters coming along, you'll run much better, patient. It looks like they are losing pressure. Two minutes remaining here for the fourth quarter, and not a bad pass for Tatum as Robert Williams has picked up eight in his game. This is like losing career for his moment. And this was going to be off target. Now this are ranging back in again. It's now 53 to 42. I don't see any pressure out there. It's going to be way tough like they did before back in other regular seasons and from games. Horford right back to White. Back to Horford. Three to shoot. Tatum, bad pass. Barnes with a drive. He does it again. Dunk in a row! Jam! 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 That's a boom pressure here. Barnes, he's really trying to hustle in the bustling. They know they got some good spirits. White against Trent Jr. Back to Horford. Trying to make him a pack. And Tatum with the ball on the three-point range. Screen on Horford. Williams. Two point. Another miss by Boston. They're going to need to try to work it up a bit. Van Vliet, Barnes, Ananobi, Junior for three. Get to the goal. Timeout called by Boston. 51.6 seconds. And it's at 53 to 47. We're really averaging up there a long time. This all can be the longest game of the season. And this has all been turning out to be just outstanding play that they have here before. We will sneak you back here at the Stanley Cup playoffs, and it will be underway here to start them things off here, to settle things down, to start for the season, postseason of the NHL. It's going to be turned down crazy here for tonight, and also with our amazing games, as we have it all here on the board. And if you're joining the wild card, it's because of what the players have all redeemed here. It's time now to present the New Balance player of the game, as all players from Game 3 goes to Marcus Smart. M.S. Smart, for sure. Always near the bending. He's not able to, he's not getting up points given today. I'm not sure what's going on for him. Brown, and a two, got it. They have counted a bucket here, and they are losing their streak here and trying to stop the pressure. Junior right to Van Vliet. With a three, fires and misses a target. They are just losing their offensive on the board. This is not going to end well. 
Tatum stops the pressure and Jason Tatum has it all averaged up here and a streak for Van Vliet and the team is wiped out. They definitely did not just good, not a good patient out there because what they've done is no good at all. Smart on Van Vliet. Fred Van Vliet got a good steal. Siakam, Ananobi, deep three range, good, and it won't be enough to pick up. And that's it. Boston extends their lead series 3-0. It's 58-50. to Wow, a disappointing effort for Toronto Raptors for self. They've gotten crushed, and the Celtics are looking for a chance here to head to round number two. If game four is for pressing bad, it's all in there. And now we catch the close things off that alley. In, impressive detail so far. What do you think? I'm just trying to continue to show people what I can do, continue to get better. Um, it's a long journey, it's a process. I still got a long way to go and a lot to learn, so I'm going to just keep going up. It's all part of the journey. Thanks, Jalen. All right, Ali. Thank you very much for your time. And pretty soon, we will be game four for all the teams that will be trying again. Atlanta, we really got to suit things away here. But for Miami, it will be 3-0 if they win again and they're moving on to face against the winning team. It's so, it can be very tricky here just to show things off. And now to close things off with three star players of the game, let's have Mephone start off first. You take it from here. Thank you. Number three, we all have known that this all turns to be a shockable run on Scotty Barnes. 12 points, one assist, one steal, has gotten great plays here so far, and he made a terrific three dunks in his career. All the average here was no luck of a dominating to have the block and a rebound, but that's all it changes. Let's take you here to you, Silver Spoon. Thank you, number two. All changes, Jason Tatum has 15 points. Two rebounds and two assists. Just a great two steal that tries to stop the run. He is a heat maker. He might be setting things up and ready for round number two to face against the winning team. Now let's have your take on number one. The all number one player it comes down to was all a tuck. 20 points and no luck of three dunks here. Uh, excellent 20 performance of Jalen Brown. He only had made three of them. One... Two, and definitely three. Bam, there you go. That's what all it took. Just a great stop. And that should do it here, team. Thank you so much for watching of the Raptors and Celtics. Me, Silver Spoon, and Me Phone are done for today. And we'll be back here again game four. This has been a presentation of the NBA playoffs on NBA 2K22. You can check out the last video that we've done here before. And we'll be seeing you guys next time for the next matchup of this battle of Pelicans and Suns Sunday on Son of Beasts, which is my channel. And make sure to subscribe if you're new or, or a returning channel if you have to if you like this video. Make sure you do it now. If you don't, somebody will. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everyone. For a while. As the NBA playoffs of NBA 2K22 dial. See you guys next time. Good night in Toronto and Boston. A bleed green. And for the north of Canada.